Yo, what's up guys, Zach Poff here, Max Preps National Football Editor. And earlier today, there was some big time news. Milton's five-star defensive lineman, LT Overton, announced he's reclassifying from the class of 2023 to 2022. And just to show you how big time this dude is, right now, if you look at the composite rankings, LT Overton would slide into that number three spot overall, just behind Travis Hunter, who's now enrolled at Jackson State, and then Walter Nolan, a five-star defensive lineman who signed with Texas A&M. And just to give you a breakdown of LT Overton's game, you look at his size, he's 6'4 and a half, 265 pounds. He's already got a college-ready body. And here are five quick things to know about LT. Number one, dude's a freak athlete. You know, this is a guy who's a standout football player in his two years at Milton High School. Dude put up big time numbers. And he's also a standout basketball player for Milton High School. Now, you look at his genes, his dad, Milton Overton, was a four year starter on the offensive line for Oklahoma. And his mom, Eunice Thomas, was a volleyball standout at Kentucky. So he's got great genes in his family and he's showing it on the football field. His older brother is also a defensive lineman at Liberty. And number two, the thing I love most about him is he put up big time numbers playing against the best competition in the state of Georgia. Last season, he was named to the Max Preps All-American first team. He racked up 54 tackles, 16 and a half tackles for loss, seven and a half sacks, and my favorite stat, he had 31 quarterback hurry. So this dude's always in the backfield being disruptive. And you go back a year further, a sophomore year, 70 tackles, 38 tackles for loss, 21 and a half sacks, 26 quarterback hurries, and also four six fumbles. LT was named the Max Prep Sophomore Football Player of the Year that season, was also named the Max Preps Male Athlete of the Year, becoming the first sophomore to take home that honor since the 2010-11 season when Doriel Green Beckham was named the Sophomore Athlete of the Year. And this is a guy who was playing varsity football in eighth grade when he was in Alabama. During that eighth grade season playing varsity, he had nearly 60 tackles, 18 tackles for loss, and six sacks. And during his freshman season in Alabama, he had 100 plus tackles, 42 tackles for loss, and 19 sacks. And number three for me, the dude's just a winner. You know, you look at last year, he led Milton all the way to the 7A state championship game. They lost 24 to 8 to Travis Hunter and Collins Hill. They went 13 and 2 last year, finished as a 7A state runner up. During his sophomore season, his first year playing football at Milton, they went 11 and 1. They lost in the 7A state quarterfinals to Ja'Curry Brown and Lowndes High School. And then you look at basketball. He had, he had a bunch of success playing basketball. He led Milton to a 7A state title during his sophomore season. And Milton finished the year ranked number seven in the final Max Preps top 25 rankings and LT averaged 12 and 12. Number four, LT's already got a college ready body, which is crazy to think because technically he would be a senior in high school next season. He's six, four and a half, 265 pounds. Dude moves like he's 220 pounds. He's strong, he's fast, he's quick. And the thing that I love most is a lot of people weren't sure how he would adjust from playing in Alabama to going to Georgia, playing in 7A, the largest classification in the Peach State. And the dude absolutely dominated. He was unblockable on defense. You had to double team if you wanted to have any type of chance to not let him get to your quarterback. And he dominated and balled out for Milton High School the last couple of seasons. And he was lining up against the best competition in the state of Georgia. You know, a state that produces a bunch of D1 talent, a bunch of NFL players. And LT and Travis Hunter were the two best players in the state of Georgia, in my opinion, over the last two seasons. And lastly, number five, I know this is what everyone's interested in. Where is he going to play college ball? He dropped his top five this morning when he announced when he was reclassifying to 2022. And the list includes Georgia, Ohio State, Oklahoma, Oregon, and Texas A&M. Now, I'd expect LT to make a decision after the basketball season. He's playing basketball right now for Milton High School. So I would expect a decision to kind of come around that timeline. And of course, just go to Max Preps YouTube page if you wanna see LT Overton's junior highlights. They're very entertaining to watch and this dude shows why he's a five-star recruit. And also too, we got highlights of a lot of the top 2022 kids who signed yesterday and we'll start coming out with more 2023 sauce and some of the class of 2024 standouts. I'm Zach Poff here, Max Preps, National Football Editor.